Well, holy smokes, I didn't know jokers, guys. Clench your butt cheeks, hide your kids, hide your wives coming at you with an emergency video because a lot of people are mad right now, okay? Suckers are going in uh, left and right. And let me tell you, man, Phil Spencer came out. He responded as well. We got the Charlie Intel reporting. We got a video of that I want to show you. And check this out, right? A couple of months ago, we had reports about Call of Duty going to Xbox Game Pass. Well... We have an update to the story, and let me tell you, it is not looking good, guys. It is not. We're gonna have that segment. We're gonna talk about this segment in this video, and apparently, it is uh, not just Joe over. It is Phil over too, because Phil over, <laughs> Phil Spencer <laughs> responded to the story, and a lot of people are big mad right now. I mean, like the video if you're not mad and you're here for a good time. Dislike the video if you're actually mad by the story. I mean, if you're upset, then that's understandable, right? Like because uh, if you're a fan of Xbox and you're upset because Phil Spencer is kind of like flip-flopping right he always has been doing that if you're upset understandable i get it but we're gonna get into the story here guys we also started a brand new series restarted a series i should say the meme series Bruh. okay uh definitely check it out show some love on that because i want to do some different content alongside gaming as always like the video subscribe roll it so check this out. going over the open world campaign in black ops gulf war and apparently future call of duty games are going to be embracing this as well so sit back relax enjoy let's start the conversation off by this brand new exclusive news that just came out this morning from tom henderson over yeah, at here Insider we go. Gaming. Here we go, boys. The hype, the hype, the hype for Call of Duty begins once again. WL, <laughs> what you thinking, man? Did you catch the erectile dysfunction after hearing this? Currently, Black Ops Golf War or is boasting an open world that has been built from the ground up rather than using assets from previous entries, similar to what we ended up seeing in Modern Warfare 3 with that. That's cab, bro. Stop the cap. That's cap. These things are going to be copy pasting all the entire Warzone in zombies, multiplayer, and campaign. Bro. Open combat missions. Tom lets us know that the game's open world will see the player and their squad navigate the map more akin of that of Far Cry than anything that we've seen before in the Call of Duty oh, universe. Damn. I'm actually pretty happy to hear this because, in my personal opinion, some of the worst set pieces from Modern Warfare 3 took place in their open combat missions, aka pieces from Verdansk that really have you doing one thing over and over again. There's no mm. different way of approaching the mission because the outcome is going to be the same every single time it just depends on which side man i don't know how I, how you guys feel about open world in call of duty right like i, I get it like for for rockstar games 110 percent man gta 6 it gonna be an open world game and that's most probably gonna be a banger there's like small chances that that can turn out to be bad too i mean listen man uh, hand on top of this bottle of water if that game turns out to be bad i'm gonna I'm become a monk okay on february 31st okay yeah. i'm gonna become a monk i'm gonna settle myself on a mountain in tibet somewhere in uh, in tibet obviously like that you want to attack first this time around if it is more like far cry we're gonna have a bigger open world with more activities to do more side quests hopefully and different ways to discover secrets easter eggs and all of the uh, in between i'd really like to see Treyarch do a throwback to the intel you know whether it's finding a, a piece of information on a computer or even throwing it back further yeah. to the death cards that we had back in world at war collecting these pieces of i mean no doubt like track is probably the best developer left when it comes to call of duty and i'm keen and i'm looking forward to call of duty 2024 not denying that but oh Open world! Open world for Call of Duty, dog! Like, okay, if you do not copy and paste Warzone, I'm intrigued, okay? Show me the goods, okay? Show me the buffs and Vagana, show me the content that you're coming coming up right now, Bruh. okay? But, dog, if it turns out that it's copy and paste, th th then I don't want it, bruh! Intel would actually provide you with special abilities that would affect the game overall if you activated or deactivated them from the menu. Tom Henderson goes on to mention that players will be able to utilize vehicles to get around, Wait as well as it? using a fast travel system to get from one point to the next. Although the scope of how many linear missions there will be remains to be seen, sources confirm that some linear missions will be integrated into the game. So similar to Modern Warfare 3, there will be some traditional Call of Duty campaign experiences, over-the-top explosive set uh -huh. pieces uh -huh. that are linear in, in, in style, but it seems like based off of this leak, they're really going to be going all out if it has its own fast travel system how big of a world are we talking about here the campaign allegedly will be developed I by mean, it 100 cannot be and i know guys like gaming for everybody like we're gonna get down to that but 110 uh, percent it's not gonna be bigger than the eh, 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 probably... Raven Software, multiplayer and zombies will be handled by Treyarch, and we'll see the return of some Black Ops characters, including Adler, who will be part of our team. 
Tom Henderson goes on to mention oh, that outside oh. of this initial Black Ops Gulf War offering, sources have also revealed that it's likely the series will take on a more open world campaign over linear moving forward. COD 2025, codenamed Saturn, which currently doesn't have an assigned leading developer, is also pitched to have an open world campaign. The only thing, the only Saturn thing that's going to be about Call of Duty 2024 is going to be its size, its file size. Get ready for it to have Saturn size uh, in gigabytes on PlayStation and Xbox. No. With its map being separated into several different biomes and locations. In my mind, when I think of like an open world situation, at least like we're hearing on the level of Far Cry, I think that's pretty uh -huh. cool. Uh -huh. I also believe uh -huh. that this is being done to kind of fast track the stuff that's going to be happening for Warzone. Right, now, boys, let's actually dive right into the story, okay? Guys, emergency meeting real quick, okay? Hide your kids, hide your wives, emergency meeting, okay? We're going to talk about the Xbox Game Pass and what's happening, right? Phil Spencer, after the rumors, after the rumors, Phil Spencer says that we're listening and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week, oh, shit. where we look forward to sharing more details with you about our vision for the future of Xbox. Stay tuned. And that just happened like a couple of minutes ago, okay? Where the homie Pyle, okay? Let me tell you one thing about Pyle. Pyle is a Sony pony, so that making Xbox and Microsoft full third party will in the long run be worse for overall gaming uh do you agree with that do you disagree with that i think it's gonna be amazing for microsoft in terms of making profits because let's be real nobody's playing starfield Bruh. and this is exactly why nobody's really buying xbox this is not my opinion according to data according to studies and this is exactly why they are looking to bring xbox exclusives on playstation okay if you're a fan of xbox listen i feel you okay i see you but if you're a fanboy i mean come on man like you don't you you gotta stop being delusional okay that's basically why and keep in mind i'm basically a playstation fanboy saying this Com competition is good when y'all compete we win the homies like yo can a brother get twenty dollars and that's exactly what i'm saying man can a brother get twenty dollars on this too uh, and everybody's going in right now we have charlie into responding microsoft intends to announce its plans to bring xbox games to playstation next week the words reports that the business update was planned for end of the month but brought up to next week after the rumors i mean damn because this all happened right because apparently suck is out there they leaked it so they started leaking their reports and it's uh it's like the same thing right just like how that lucia bruna was leaked out <laughs> and they're there for rockstar games uh had, games had to drop their trailer early but guys call of duty game pass xbox game pass check this out may not be coming to game pass after all that let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let's go ahead and move on and talk about call of duty and how it may not be coming to game pass after all in yeah. fact microsoft is had quite a few interesting developments over the past 24 hours in regard to leaks. Information about this is coming from a longtime Microsoft leaker that goes by the name of Tim Dog. First, he uh -huh. mentions that he's heard that Call of Duty won't be coming to Xbox Game Pass. And on top of that, he's also heard that a disgruntled Microsoft employee leaked that Microsoft will be pivoting to a third party publishing situation. That means games like Indiana Jones, Starfield, Hi-Fi Rush, games like that will slowly be releasing on other platforms. And by that, I mean PlayStation. And obviously this has got quite a few people upset about that because you know, what's the point of Xbox if all these games no. that I bought an Xbox for are- Say you swear to God, bro. Phil, what, I, what the hell are you thinking, man? Listen, I do agree that this is uh, gonna be good move for Microsoft as a whole, but it's gonna make Xbox completely pointless, like completely unnecessary to get. Now, obviously, if you're a fan of Xbox uh, and you love the controller, yeah, then the only thing would be left would be the Xbox controller and you can buy Xbox if you love it. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, it's just gaming consoles. It's just, it's just crazy that nowadays fanboys are so delusional uh, on both sides, right? Like the Sony ponies, the PlayStation fanboys, the xbox the the xbox fanboys and stickers are so delusional right now that they have emotional attachment to, to these plastics rather than having that with their family though. you know that that's absolutely wild to me right so a lot of people are really really mad by this uh if you're upset that's kind of understandable right because phil spencer say one thing and does the complete other thing and right now he's like okay well we're gonna do this and that and I, myself included right like i was believing that we're gonna be getting call of duty on game pass well guess what it's uh looks like that that's not happening too and initially this is this was leaked that call of duty 2025 okay by 2025 call of duty 2025 is gonna be on the xbox game pass and this was not necessarily a leak leak but it was leaked 
through the FTC. Bruh. Meaning it was leaked through the official means where, you know, they were fighting to acquire like Activision and uh, Phil Spencer was uh, trying to say that and in their like uh, documents it was leaked that they are planning to bring Call of Duty on Game Pass in 2025 uh, and then later on we heard news that they might even do that for call of duty 2024 and now we're hearing they're not gonna like damn damn gonna be available over on the playstation this rumored pivot to third party publishing is all in response to declining xbox console sales so damn. let's start the conversation off with this game pass the alleged decision to keep call of duty away from xbox game pass according to tim dog by the way it's a rumored move, part of Microsoft's reaction to realizing that the Game Pass subscription service in its current form is just not sustainable. Tim Dog expects the company to announce a shift to multi-platform publishing at the now, next- Now, like, who would have thought, right? Game Pass is not sustainable. Ding, 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 ding. But, but here's the thing, I'll still say Game Pass is an amazing model for gamers, right? It's an amazing model for gamers. Let's be real, do you wanna pay $70 for a game that, you know, they're still gonna shut down the servers? You buy it, but you still don't own it, right? Do you still wanna pay $70 for a game nowadays? Or pay like $20 a month and you got hundreds, if not thousands of games in your catalog. Game Pass, the ultimate winner, right? And admittedly, that's the only good thing about Xbox right now. And you don't even need an Xbox to get it. You can have Game Pass on PC and that's it. Microsoft is a software company, just like how Sony is like a movie company now, right? right? This is why their single player games are always uh, feeling like movies, but the experiences and the stories are so good that the games become memorable, right? And this is why you constantly hear good things about like The Last of Us, Spider-Man, uh, even though they have a lot of bull crap in that too, like the wolf crap. But minus that, I mean, those are amazing experiences and not denying that they are movie games you sit there with the popcorn in hands and i'll admit it bro like they are quite like intriguing and quite interesting to play because the story is so damn good sony always makes sure the story is good at least for now they make sure you not you don't know man in five years from now ten years from now sony might also fumble this bag right so i'll, I'll actually keep it like this uh keep it real with you because you never know but what the hell is going on bro like phil what the hell are you doing bro like what you doing bro and, and today him responding just confirms that it's real the leaks are real xbox game showcase which is said to be packed with new titles when exactly that event is planned is unclear Call of Duty was set to release on Game Pass in 2025. And the reason that we know that is because of the regulatory disclosures that were yeah. happening throughout the entire acquisition situation. And we even covered that here. Hell I yeah, don't know yeah. how to feel specifically about it, especially when you look back to interviews that Phil Spencer did talking about, yes, Call of Yo, Duty. Yo, Phil, why you buy Activision, bro? Like, why you buy Activision then? <laughs> We all thought that Call of Duty is gonna be on the Game Pass world. Game Pass. We were all anticipating like 2025. Then we heard the stories that it can happen as early as Call of Duty 2024. <laughs> and now we're hearing it's not gonna be. And it kind of makes sense, right? Like it's, sales are down. Uh, Sickers don't play Xbox exclusives no more the way they want to. Obviously, a lot of people play Xbox games. Uh, don't get me wrong. But not a lot of people are playing the games the way Microsoft wants to. I hope I make it make it sense. Uh, I know the Xbox fanboys would be big mad after this, but that's uh, th that's what we're hearing. That's the news, guys. That's the news. Obviously, I'm kind of saucing it up for the entertainment value. I do that all the time with the PlayStation, with the Sony ponies too, whenever Bruh. that happens. But it feels like that every year, the start of a year, we have Microsoft, <laughs> Phil Spencer dropping a deuce, and then everybody talks about it. Last year, it was like the Redfall, Redfill situation. Then Phil Spencer going in a public interview saying that, bro, even if Starfield, if Starfield turns out to be 11 out of 10, people are not gonna sell their PlayStation. Like, Phil Spencer said that, bro, even if Starfield turns out to be good, like, uh, you know, I, I, it's not that all of a sudden people are gonna sell their PlayStation 5 and move over. I mean, damn, bro, like, what the and hell? And even more Activision Blizzard titles will be available on Game Pass. Now, they could still do a situation where maybe the old version of Call of Duty's come out, like maybe we'll have COD 4 up to, I don't know, Black Ops Cold War or something like that, maybe even Modern Warfare 3. And then all of the new games coming out after that will still be a full 60 to $70 price point on multi-platform, of course, that includes oh, PlayStation. No. So that way they're making the money and they're still yeah. gonna be making the microtransactions. And, and to be honest though, like we can all clown and whatnot, but it kind of makes sense to not have Call of Duty on Game Pass. Cause think about it, like Sickers are gonna buy, it's like the NBAs, right? It's like the, the NFLs, right? Like Sickers buy one thing and one thing only every damn year. Sickers complain, but Sickers still buy it. 
right? I also complain about it because the games are trash. And the complaints from everybody are justified right now. But personally, I did not buy Modern Warfare 3. I broke the cycle, though. Where are my homies that broke the cycle? Show your, uh, reveal yourself. Show up in the comments if you broke the cycle and didn't buy Modern Warfare 3. Or if you have more accolades, if you broke the streak multiple times and you didn't buy multiple Call of Duty games. I want to see you uh, rolling in the comments with your fat doobies right now, okay? But... It kind of makes sense because Call of Sticks are gonna buy Call of Duty, right? Like people are gonna buy Call of Duty, they're gonna pay $70 regardless, so why put it on Game Pass? But I also feel like that this is a good point that he brought. Maybe the older games are gonna be put on Game Pass, and a year later, when Call of Duty becomes old, when nobody cares about it, that's when they put it on Game Pass, uh, revives uh, the, the, the player count as well, and boosts the player count. Kind of makes sense, honestly, but I know a lot of Xbox fans uh, were thinking, and myself included, as somebody who plays on PlayStation, and even PlayStation fans were like, Brad, like, what am I going to do? Okay, I got the PC, okay, I'm going to get the Game Pass, I'm going to get the Game Pass, and I'm going to play Call of Duty for $20, and I'll have a thousands of other uh, third-party games, also Xbox exclusives like Starfield, Starfield, or Starfield, right, right, and uh, a lot of PlayStation fans, uh, I'm not talking about the fanboys, the fanboys, they're delusional as hell, but the normal... Xbox and normal PlayStation fans, that's what they were thinking about, and it looks like that we cannot do that now. In fact, in my mind, putting them on Game Pass actually makes more sense for those that are going to be buying bundles and the microtransactions and the supply drops and all the stuff that exists in Bruh. previous Call of Duty games that are still available right now. You can still drop into COD 4, the original, and buy the DLC. You could still drop into Advanced Warfare and buy supply drops and advanced supply drops. Those things are still intact. And at least in my mind, that's money on the table apart from the initial purchase price. And for a lot of these older Call of Duty games, not many people are willing to put up 50, 30, 20. Some people don't even want to put up $10 in order to play them. But if they're on Game Pass and they're available They'll through play. that subscription that someone's already paying for, there's a chance that someone pick it up, maybe play a few Guys, games. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is an absolute insane story. This literally just happened. You're not gonna believe what just happened in this one, okay? Check it out. We got a lot of sauce in that, and I will see you right there.